My name is Steve Williams. I'm secretary of the Chorley Pals Memorial, as well as the Chorley Remembers Project. It's a cold February morning. I'm stood in front of the Cenotaph here in Ashley Park in Chorley. Two years after we unveiled the Chorley Pals Memorial on the flat iron, many people in the town contacted Lindsay Hoyle, the town's MP and chairman of the project, as well as myself, asking why the names of the fallen from conflicts over the years were not placed on the cenotaph behind me. And they have a very good point. Chorley's cenotaph was unveiled by the council back in May 1924, but unusually the names of the fallen were never placed upon it. This was also the case after the Second World War. So we decided to approach the Heritage Lottery Fund to get a grant to put this right. Over the last 20 months, myself and volunteers have been collating and researching the names of the men to go on the cenotaph. So far we found the names of 681 men who died in conflicts, but we need your help to check that we've not missed anyone. The lists are on our website, at the town hall and in local libraries, along with the criteria used to decide who is eligible to be listed. The closing date for responses will be the end of May when the project team will look again at the names and submit them to designers who will fit them onto a low screen wall of 18 panels behind the cenotaph. We'd also like the views of local people on the plans for the cenotaph and the closing date for that is the 15th of March. As we finalise the plans for the cenotaph, will commence work on other elements of the project. The memorial arch at the entrance to Ashley Park needs urgent work to repair years of weather damage. We're working with the Heritage Officer at Chorley Council on this element of the project. A new remembrance experience will be created in Ashley Hall, which will see an upgrade to the current memorial room. Improvements will be made to the site of the Chorley Pals Memorial, improving access to it, providing a bench and information boards. We'll also be creating a Chorley Remembrance Trail running from the Pal statue through Ashley Park and finishing at Ashley Hall. We'll soon be starting a memories project, creating a resource pack for local schools and I'm writing a book about the project to include some of the men named on the cenotaph. The project is holding a number of events and ceremonies throughout the year and we hope to have the names on the cenotaph ready for the Remembrance Sunday in November. We're planning to finish the project with a legacy concert in Chorley Town Hall in December. So we have a busy year ahead and I hope local people will get behind and support the project. You can find out more about the project by going to our website www.chorleyremembers.org.uk